Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. It's the 8th of May, 2015. This is going to be a video blog done from my crib, my house. Welcome to my crib. Welcome to my crib. Blah, 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 blah. crib. Uh, it's going to be a quick video blog, and I want to tell you about um, one particular subject that branches into a few different things, okay? So a while back, if you think about it, um, no, let's, let's change the way I said that. Here's what we Let's just look at it. Today. If you walked, we, we went to uh, a store today. If you walk through a store and, or you're at someone's house or somebody, uh, and there's a female there, and the female is overweight, okay? Let's say she's 50 to 70 pounds overweight. By the way, that's a lot of weight to be over a pound, don't you think, girls? Yeah. That's not like five pounds. I'm talking 70 yeah. pounds overweight. Yeah. Absolutely overweight, right? In this case, even a guy, but more to the females. And if, if she was there, and if there was other people and you guys are hanging out, and if that female said, I look good, I look good, right? Start putting on makeup. I Look at me. I'm so sexy. Everybody would be like, yeah, go, girl. Go, girl, right? Yeah, you look good. Woo. And if she even put up a picture was like, I feel absolutely sexy right now. Everybody would be like, yeah, go, go, go. All cheers. All cheers for the woman who's 70 to 100 pounds overweight, right? All cheers. Everybody complimenting, everybody uh, supporting, right? That yeah, good for you, girl. You're 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 so beautiful. Have you girls seen that before? Yeah, yeah totally. you have, right? Totally. And that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. That's not what my problem is. My problem is this: if in the same house, same store, same place, a woman who was not overweight, who had all the right health um, indicators, right? Muscle tone, right weight, flat stomach, beautiful, just beautiful. The way we imagine we want our um, celebrity to models to look, right? I don't mean like the super thin models, but you know, I'm seagulls. If a woman like that in a crowd is like, I'm beautiful, look at me, or puts up pictures and says, I'm so sexy, you know what would happen? There would be a tremendous amount of hate from women. Now, this is from women to women. This is not from men to women. Yeah. You guys understand that? Yeah. Women, other women would be like, you're so conceited, you shouldn't say that, it's not just about your looks. You and they would immediately attack the girl who's beautiful. Immediately. The one who actually takes her time, watches what she eats, and works out like six, seven days a week, actually takes care to look like that. She doesn't have a right anymore to walk around. That's not true, she has a 100% right. But what the society says is that they start doing this thing where they start shaming you. Yeah. It's called a shaming tactic. They shame you. I have two girls here. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Markel and Electro. Uh, they shame you into, you shouldn't say that, you shouldn't do that. So what it's become now is that women who are completely overweight, who have taken the time to eat a bunch of food and not work out and sit on the fucking couch and eat Twinkies all day or, or do all kinds of stupid shit and just completely disregard their, their health, completely disregard their health. It's okay for them to say how beautiful they look and feel and that they're so proud of the way they look and I don't care, I look like this, I'm so beautiful. It's okay to do that. And again, I'm not saying that's not okay. That's a matter of opinion. But if that's okay, then the problem is that the beautiful woman, the one, and don't say beauty, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I'm talking about the beautiful woman. I'm talking about the one that 90% of the people go, she is beautiful. You get what I'm saying? The one that, that, that's the one I'm talking about. So don't be stupid. If you're thinking that, you need to just get off the channel. You need to delete me from Facebook and never come in front of me because I will crush you with my truth because you're too fucking weak to even fucking live, really. So I'm talking about the actual figure of a beautiful woman, okay? Not I the beholder, just actually fucking beautiful woman. She cannot say that she's beautiful. It's shameful to say that. People attack her if she says that, okay? And I got one thing to say about that. Fuck that, right? Fuck that, double fuck that, quadruple upside down fuck that, sideways fuck that, in the butt fuck that, in the ear fuck that, up the nostrils fuck that, down your fucking throat fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. Okay, if you're a beautiful woman, say you're beautiful. And of course, that's our IMC nation culture, right? You just say it. Now, on the other hand, let's say you're overweight and you're feeling better about yourself and you put up a picture, hey, if you're IMC Nation, I support you because why? You're in the culture of becoming beautiful. But, but I'm not going to lie to you, right? You know, if you're my student, I tell you. I tell these girls, hey, you, you look chubby right now. Your leg's too thick. Your chin's doubled or whatever. Let's move on. It's not just with that. There's also this. In today's society, the same attitude goes like this. 
a man or a woman can say something like this. Times are so hard right now. I just can't seem to get ahead. I've tried so hard and down on my luck. And it's like, no, I just can't seem to. And uh, I'm just so tired and I can't make it. And man, I'm just down on my luck. And it just doesn't matter. No matter how hard you try, it's like, the, you know, the system's against you and the government's against you and the world's against you and we just can't get ahead. It's like, oh, that's okay to say. And people be like, yeah, you're right, you're right, right? It's, it's okay. It's okay to bitch and complain. What's not okay is for a man to say, I feel great. I'm rich. I'm successful. I look good. I'm proud of who I am. And life is fucking easy. Why? Because I figured this shit out and I'm doing it right. Don't you think that's a little conceited? That's what they'll say. Don't you think that's a little conceited? It's okay for a man to behave in a weak way and people will, it's okay, stay up. No, that's it's not just you, it's everybody. Yeah, man, you know, the world's a tough place and there's a whole bunch of support. But if a man steps up and says, I look good, I feel good, I'm successful, I know how to make money, I know how to get women, all that shit. Oh, well, he's conceited, he's conceited. You know, no one's like that. Fuck you. I got something in your ear, in your nose, and down your throat, in your butt, every fucking other place, in your fucking eyeballs, okay? Fuck you. So now that's the same attitude that goes from the woman to the man. Then we got the final one that goes all together. It's the, it's the basic idea. The basic idea says this, that we should disregard the success and hard work of people who are actually doing something that is working. We should not look at them. Those people don't have the, the, the right, people say, to be proud of their accomplishments. But if you're doing jack shit in your life, if you're doing jack shit in your life, then you have a reason to be proud of your absolute no accomplishments. That's what the society is saying. Right? So the broke uh, Joe Schmo guy who doesn't work, doesn't do shit, can be like, money's just the root of all evil. And money's bad. And it's not all about work. It's about spending time at home with your family. Your family's going to fucking leave you if you don't have money. And you're not fucking taking care of them. That's a fact. Okay? It's okay. It's basically, they're saying, I take pride. Here's the bottom line idea. Is I take pride. They're saying that they take pride in not accomplishing. They take pride in losing. They take pride in having no um, ability to get ahead in life. But if you are succeeding, you better not have any pr pride. Why? Because then you're conceited. Now, this idea that I just told you, you're surrounded by it. Because the moment you start succeeding, that's when you get haters. Right? You don't get haters if you're not succeeding. No one gives a shit about you. You start succeeding, people start hating you. But when you understand what I'm saying, then you have only one real, real choice in this thing. One. And that is, you say it louder and prouder and more and more and more. And you surround yourself with people who have worked as hard as you to look a certain way, be able to be a certain way. This is very important. What you, what you do is you immediately completely turn your back to the people that are criticizing you. And you tell them. You say, look, bitch. You're 70 to 100 pounds overweight right now, right? I look perfect. I look perfect. And I work hard to look like this. And you're nasty. And you're not doing shit about it. So don't try to shame me, bitch. Don't try to shame me. Because what's shameful is that you gave up on yourself and your life. And you're not doing anything about it. That's shameful, you stupid bitch. And I don't want to know you. I don't want to hang out with you. And if you come near me, I'll call you as it is. You're fucking ugly. And you're disgusting. And your attitude is disgusting, too. That's how you do it. What you don't do is defend and apologize and hide. It's the same thing for guys if you're successful, right? What would be an example of this? An example of this would be if you can fight. If you could fight another guy who can't fight, just being a punk to you, right? Hey, bro, were you going to beat everybody up? What's up, bro? Are you going to beat everybody up? Oh, will you think you're so tough? You know, there's only one answer to that. You just beat that guy up. That's it. He'll shut up. You don't argue with them. You don't go, well, no, you know, I also go to school and no, I have business. You go, okay, well, you know, how about I demonstrate on you why I spent all these goddamn years on the fucking mat or in the martial arts academy. So the solution is to exercise your power and not apologize for your power, not hide from people, but to shine and then surround yourself with people who are also winning at life 
and doing incredible things because it takes a lot of energy, it takes a lot of focus, a lot of discipline to be winning in life. And this is a fact, okay? You didn't just get to the top because someone fucking handed it to you, right? Everybody's going through the struggles, okay? And that's the way it goes. It's Friday night. Tomorrow is the Saturday Night Live lecture. People are kind of confused on the donation. Here's how it works. You go to seductiveinstinct.com and you donate anything you want for the lecture. Anything. It could be a million dollars. It could be ten dollars. Up to you. And I'll see you tomorrow night at 8 p.m. online. Okay. I think there's a hundred limit that we have that people can be on it. So if you want to do it, uh, do it as soon as you can. Okay. All right. Share the shit. Let the world hear it. Let the world see it. Be the best. Fuck the rest. INC Nation.